everyone, it's Lula from Clarice and Light Organic Skin Care. Today, I am making a video to show you how you can pamper your mum for Mother's Day. Now, doesn't matter which pack you've bought, you've either chosen the Muscle Pack or the Lavender Pack. Today, I'm going to be pampering my beautiful friend Rachel with the Lavender Pack, but you can do both routines with either or. Now, first of all, make sure that mama is nice and comfortable. Maybe you just make the chair a little bit more special. I have even rolled up a towel ready and I'm just gonna pop this behind Rachel's head here. Does that feel comfortable yeah. enough? Now it is quite warm today and we're sitting out here on the balcony, but you know, if it's a little bit cool, get a little towel or a little blanket, cozy blanket, and just pop it over mum. In the football, what I have done is just used a generous little scoop of the lavender salts, or you can use the mussel ones, either pack. And I have basically put about three pumps of our lavender shower gel. You also get a beautiful coconut lime candle and at this point wouldn't it be lovely to light the candle pop it next to mama now rachel just wanted a glass of water but you can make mum a cup of tea or a coffee or pour her a glass of wine whatever um you would like to give your mum as a refreshment maybe ask her what she would like and here also we've got the lavender balm ready as well so what i'm going to do to start with is i'm just going to lightly set the mood you don't if you do have the meditation spray at home at this point or even any of the serenity spritzes if you do have a spray start to introduce the treatment with aroma so i'm going to go ahead now and proceed with the treatment so if you do have meditation spray or any of our serenity spritz, lightly spray your mum's face and around her energy field so that when she's relaxing there, she's really taking in those aromas. So encourage mum and you yourself, start taking nice, slow, deep breaths so that you're centered because your energy will actually help your mum relax a little bit more and vice versa. So very lightly, give your spritz a little shake and we're just gonna very lightly gonna feel a light mist. Beautiful. And now we're gonna go on to the hand massage. Now it's time to go on to the therapeutic side. We're gonna pamper mum, so I've just taken my lavender balm and I've put it on my spatula. Now what I'm going to do initially is I'm going to warm it up on my hands and I'm going to put a little bit on mum's temples as well. So I'm just warming it up, take a little um, inhalation myself, help centre myself and then I'm just going to just do a figure of A around mum's temples. You're not putting pressure, it's a very light movement. Beautiful. Okay. So I've just warmed it up in my fingers so it's all nice and warm. And we're gonna gently just support mum's hand and we're gonna do some gentle stroking movements, just working up. Now, this is good. Remember that you can even do this on yourself. If you're watching this, you may have even treated yourself to this pack. Isn't that wonderful? So you can actually massage yourself in the same way. Obviously, just one hand at a time. 
we're going to do some nice circles around the wrist now obviously sometimes in the wrist area you might even feel some little gritty bits in there that's what we call lactic and mum will appreciate you massaging that away this mutt balm will help melt that all away so nice circles maybe six circles or three if you're really in a hurry not for mum i'm sure you're going to give her lots of time now we're going to go down these parts, the soft bit in between the joints, in between the bone, we're going to go into the soft bit of the hand and we're going to do circles all the way down. Beautiful, nice and slow, you're taking your time. Now I'm really not putting too much pressure, you can see that there's no redness or anything like that as I'm working, it's very light. And then we're going to do circles around the fingers and then give them a pull. Now, this seems like one of those movements I remember when I learned it. I remember thinking, why? What a silly movement to do. But it's actually a really lovely movement to receive. It feels great because our fingers and our joints, especially in here, get quite inflamed. And we would imagine that mum's hands work pretty hard. So really good to just massage and stretch out the finger. Now you can see with that one, just to make it a little bit easier, I just went one, two, three, jumped to the end and then went to the middle. Now we're gonna flex mum's hand up and we're gonna do the underside. So we're gonna really work on the pads of the hands in here. nice circles and I can feel that Rachel's hands have worked very hard especially on the pads there the soft part of her hand so nice circles and then we can do some crisscross crisscross And then we're going to put the hand back down and back to effleurage. So pretty nice and easy, isn't it? If you want to stop there, you can with the hand massage. If you want to go that little bit further and you feel like mum's got some inflammation in your joints, perhaps your mum's a bit older and she's got arthritis, so that you could interlink your fingers in in mums support her wrist and very slowly you just do rotations and this is really good again you can do this on your hands one hand over the other you can do this on yourself as well really good for helping to remove inflammation and stiffness in the wrist area you can flex forward and back And to finish off, back to those beautiful sweeping movements. And you can see it's so easy. I'm really making a point. I'm keeping contact the whole time because this is what makes your treatment nurturing. What makes it nurturing is the contact that you're giving, the speed and the time that you're giving your mum because this is the whole point about this treatment is about sharing time together and giving mum some of your beautiful precious time there we go okay i'm back at ground level i have just massaged the other hand so you're going to do that you're going to massage both sides and now i'm just going to simply take mum's feet out of the bowl and pat them dry now i'm just going to make a point i completely understand that some people are very grossed out about feet the reason i say this is that people can't believe they'll even do pedicures but anyway so if you are somebody at this point i'm sure your mum wouldn't mind drying off her own feet just be nice about it if 
you have an inner therapist in you and happy to pamper mum's feet, you could pat them dry and then get some of that lavender balm and again, give mum a foot massage and you're gonna do exactly the same thing. Beautiful sweeping movements up and down the feet, circles around the ankle bone. You're gonna go down or up those soft parts of the feet and then just a nice sweepy movement to finish. Or on the underside of the feet, again, you could do crisscross motions, exactly the same as what you did on the hand. You can do the same on the feet. So if you are somebody who's quite happy to pamper tootsies, go for it, because that lavender balm. And then you could just have the towel and let mum just sit back, maybe, you know, get your feet, mum's feet up if you've got an ottoman and then just wrap them up in the towel and that lavender balm will work its way through. Now, within two hours of the balm making contact with your feet, it actually has the ability to be drawn into the nervous system. And as a result of that, lavender being lavender, as healing and calming as it is, you should have a very relaxed, grateful mama. All right, everyone, give that a go. I hope you've really enjoyed this bonding time with your mum and made your mum feel very special and that you feel really proud of yourself too. Take care, everyone. Love and light. Happy Mother's Day.